Hello everyone. Welcome back for another sketch idea with Vicki and myself. We found another sketch that we're going to give a try. We hope you will too. So to see what I do with this sketch, join me in the studio. For today's sketch, I'm using Quiet Meadow and I'm using this image right here. I am also using the Meadow dies that go with it and these are the two dies that I'm using. I am using, I have a piece of pear pizzazz. All measurements will be on the, on my blog. The link is in the information section below. I have a piece of white. I have a piece of the Regency Park pattern paper. I love this paper. I have used it in so many ways that don't, and I don't have the stamp set, so it's very versatile. My card base is white. I'm using blending brushes, some linen thread, rich raspberry ink, and pear pizzazz. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my um, die cuts because I've cut them out. And what I did was I saved this, um, the negative and I'm gonna reinsert these back in here. It'll make it easier to color. So let me get those put in. All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a piece of, um, there we go, it works out perfectly a post-it note, and that's gonna hold things in place. Now, I don't wanna color this by accident, so I'm gonna take another piece, and I actually have a scrap up here that I've used I can stick there. It's just hiding it so it doesn't um, get colored with the blending brush. And I'm gonna take my blending brush, and I'm gonna blend some color in the top of this and I don't want it real dark, but just enough to give it some color. Okay, I'm gonna move this down here so I don't color this one. And I'm gonna do this piece. Um, it just helps to hold it in place if you save your negative piece. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm gonna close up my rich raspberry, and now I'm going to move my post-it notes, and I'm gonna put this one here. Oops, I gotta come over a little bit because I don't wanna, let me use this one up here. There, and then this one I'm gonna put down here I don't want green in with my rich razzleberry. You get a muddy look. All right, clean blending brush. And I'm gonna take my pear pizzazz. And I don't know if I'll need the whole stem, but that's okay because what I'm doing is I'm coloring it. And if I have to cut it off, it won't matter because I have it done. And I'm not worried about the blobs because the dye is very, ooh, just gotta be careful with that. The dye is very narrow, so a lot of it will come across as shading, not as blobs. Let me get some more down there. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. I think it's done, so let me remove my post-it notes and I'll pop these out like so and there it is a quick and easy way to color and a way to hold it in place so i have my two pieces i need this whoops you know what i didn't do i'm gonna pull my scrap paper back in and my piece of pear pizzazz and my pear pizzazz ink and I'm going to ink up my stamp and let me see. 
All right, that didn't work out. I'm gonna try again. I'll stamp the top. All right, and then I'll come down and do the bottom just to give it some texture, much better. Always two sides to your paper if you make a mistake. All right, now let's get our card going. I'm going to fold my card base in half. And I'm gonna add my pattern paper. And I want it to go that way. It looked upside down the other way. It may not be, but to me it did. So I'm going to add some glue to this. All right. And the glue gives me a little bit of wiggle room so I can get it evenly spaced. All right, so there's my background. This goes on next, and it's right about there. So I'm gonna put this down. And I did not include any stamping on mine. I know in the image, there was a sentiment cut up over here. I decided not to do that because then I can use it how I see fit. All right, and I'm gonna put that piece under there like so. Now, this one goes on next, and I missed a piece. I popped all these out ahead of time, but that one got mixed, missed. All right, now this is gonna go on like so. So I'm gonna cut it apart right about here. And I won't use that piece. And I'm gonna add this to my card base like so. And if I take and I can put little tiny dots and that popped out on me, so I will wipe that off so I don't get it on my cards. On my, I should say my die cuts. All right, so there's that. And I'm gonna put a block on it to hold it in place. I'm gonna clean that up with my towel so I don't get it on anything else. And now I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna add some dots of glue here. I want one down there. I didn't put anything on this. So I, um, this piece I'm just gonna kinda stick over there. All right, now time for my flowers. I'm gonna put this one here and I'm gonna cut it off right about here. And again, I'm gonna use some glue on the back. And I refilled this and now it's, it's not coming out so I push it and it's going crazy. All right, so there's that. All right, put that on there while I do this one. Oops, I need to see first, I'll move it over. Um, I'll cut this one right about the same spot. No, you know what, I'm gonna cut it just a fraction shorter, just because you have different levels, you have interest. So let me get glue on here, come on. Okay, there. So let me, I need to, that needs to be straighter. All right, better, like so. All right, again, I'm gonna put that on to hold it in place. I didn't put any on my stems. If I need to, I will. And I'm going to make my bow. I'm gonna do a multi-loop bow. 
So I start with two fingers, wrap it around twice, add a third finger, wrap it around twice, fourth finger, wrap it around twice. Then I use my ribbon scissors and I cut the end. I'm gonna pull out some of this and I'm holding it at the top and I'm gonna pull up my loops to make like figure eights. All right, and I'm gonna put that here and I'm going to tie a knot. Has shifted on me so there and I want to make sure it's fairly even that looks good so I'm going to tie another knot I only tied a single knot so I could move it around if I need to and I'm gonna trim my linen thread and I'm gonna add a glue dot um, there it is. I couldn't find it. I think I missed one. Right about there. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my threads down. <coughs> and I'm going to stick that right on that glue dot. And then I take my bow and I pull it apart to give it some interest. So I have lots of pieces everywhere. So it's a nice loopy bow. Then I'm gonna take and, oops, trim my pieces so that they're, this one's a little long. They're not the same length, but, long enough and I think I'm probably going to add a little dot of glue right there on this piece because it's not sticking oops I almost have too much so I'm gonna push it down and wipe it with my towel and there's my card for this sketch so did you like today's idea using the sketch Pull out your paper, get the measurements from my blog, and make some cards yourself. Great layout, quick, quick and easy, and we've done all the measuring for you. Make sure you check out Vicki's idea. See you back here again next Sunday.